What is up everyone and welcome to a new VR tutorial in Unity. Now in the previous video we learned about near interaction with different ways of grabbing an object and in this video we will cover how to interact with objects that are far away using a ray interaction. So if you are enjoying this video make sure to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to promote this channel to other VR devs just like you. And if you'd like to get access to the source code and some exclusive content you can join us on Patreon. Patreon, link in the description below. But now, without further ado, let's get started with our tutorial. Now, before going with the ray interaction, there are some big changes that I need to address. So, the Oculus interaction has updated to version 38. So, if you are using the new update version, there might be some part of the tutorial that are different. So, let's see what it is all about by going to the package manager, my assets, search for Oculus integration, and now just update the package. By the way, obviously you are not required to have the latest version of the SDK, but I think it's better to have this tutorial series as updated as possible for future people to come. So if you want to keep your current version, you can skip this part, but always if you are struggling with any part of my tutorials, make sure to check the comment section below. I will make sure to pin the solution to the most common issue you guys have. Okay, so now the package is updated. The first thing that has changed is the transformable component. As you can see, it has now been renamed to Grabable. But the major change is that you don't need to drag the interactable in the Grabable component anymore. It's the other way around. You need to drag the Grabable in the interactable. So for each interactable that we have, so the Grab interactable and the end Grab interactable, I'm going to drag the Grabable over there. Perfect. Now, if we click on play, as you can see, we can see the controller, but we cannot see our hands with hand tracking anymore. So to fix this, we simply need to go back to our right hand and our left hand. And here you can see that there was some modification on the end synthetic game object. So to update them, you simply need to go through the end modifier and then drag the right hand in the data modifier of the synthetic hand. And now we can do the same, but for the left hand. So as you saw from clicking on play, we have a bunch of errors showing in the console. This is just cause because when I updated the package, the interactor list was removed. So let's drag on all interactor list, the grab interactor that we have for each end. Okay, next, if we go to the input of VR, we can see two things. First, the OVR camera rig is missing. And if we try to drag it to this component, it doesn't work. So to fix this, we need to actually add a new component to our OVR camera rig called interaction of VR camera rig. And now if we go back to the input of VR, we will be able to drag it over there. Perfect. Then as you can see in the input data provider component, we have a warning that we can get rid of by simply unchecking the enable update and enable fix update. And there you go. Now, if I click on play, we have no more error and we can interact with the cube as before. Now, finally, there are some changes on the end pose grab we made in last episode. As you can see, the end pose recorder and end pose recordable is now obsolete. But it's actually a great news because now if you want to recall end pose when grabbing an object, you can simply go here at the top, Oculus, Interaction, End Pose Recorder, and the rest is the same. So we can for now remove the end pose recorder and the end pose recordable component as we don't need them anymore. And if you are not able to see the end pose we have generated in last episode, you can simply add back a ghost and in one of the end pose and now everything seems good. If we click on play, as you can see, we can snap the mug to our end when we grab it. But our fingers are not locked into the pose. So I believe this is a mistake in the synthetic end from this new update and it should be fixed in a later update. But for now, to fix this issue, you simply need to go through the end modifier and then add a end grab interactable visual component. We can drag the end grab interactor in the snappers and drag our synthetic hand in the synthetic hand parameter. 
parameter. And there you go, now we simply need to do the same, but for the other hand. Perfect! Okay guys, as you can see, everything works as before and our project is now up to the latest Oculus Interaction update. Congratulations! And I hope the next update will not break any more stuff. Now that we got that out of the way, let me show you how to use a ray to interact with far away object. Okay, so as you saw from the last episode, to use the grab interactor, we simply needed to add a particular prefab under the interactor list of our controller and hands. Now, the good news is that it's actually the same thing for the ray. So in the project windows, I'm going to search for ray interactor. As you can see, we have one kind for the controller and another for the end. And we can simply go in our controller and drag for both the controller ray interactable under the controller interactor game object. Now we can do the same for the end, but this time with the hand ray interactor. Okay, so now the next step is to simply drag for each of the interactor the corresponding controller that it is assigned to. So for the controller ray interactor on the left controller, I'm going to drag here the left controller in the controller reference. Now do the same, but for the controller ray interactor on the right controller, we can simply drag the right controller on the controller. And now exactly the same thing happens, but for the ends. Okay, so now the final step is to add all of these interactable to their own interactor list. And there you go, guys. We have already finished the interactor setup. Now, as you can see, this prefab that we just added defines the look of the ray we are using, but also how it is triggered. So if I go to the control ray interactor, for example, you can see on the trigger selector children that I can change the input we are listening with our ray to select an object and so right now it is using the trigger button and now in the visuals we can also change the color as well as the length of the ray same goes for the end ray we have the selector which has the index pinch selector script that will trigger the ray selection when we pinch our index finger and we also have the visual below that you can tweak to what you want now in my case i will leave everything like this and so now let's click on play to see see how it looks and there you go guys as you can see i have a ray going out of my finger and when i pinch it changed its visual now we have the same thing but for the controller and as you can see but for now we cannot interact with any object with this ray so let's see what we can do so in the same way we had for the grab interactor, we need a ray interactable. So I'm going to create a new cube. We can place it behind the table, we can even change its material to red. Now, if I want to interact with this cube, I will add a ray interactable component to it. So this component is really similar to the grab interactable, as you can see. And in my case, I will simply drag the cube collider in the collider of the ray interactable. And now let's click on play to test this. Right now with this ray interactable, as you can see, the ray seems to interact with the collider and we have a nice looking cursor showing on the cube. But when I click on the cube, nothing happens. So how can we trigger something with this ray? So to trigger some behavior with our interactable, we are going to use the interactable unity event. So let's click on add component and add it to our cube. So this component is really interesting and allow you to add any event you want to trigger when interacting with the cube. We can drag the ray interactable first in the interactable view. And in my case, I will simply change the cube color when we interact with it. So we can click on the plus button here on this event, drag the cube, and I'm going to go to the mesh renderer and select material. So when we over, I'm going to simply change its color to blue with this blue material that I have here on my project. Now we can copy this event and paste it when we un over and change back the color to red. Now I'm going to do the same with this select below, but this time change the color to green. Perfect. Now let's click on play to try this. And there you go, guys. Now, as you can see, using the ray, when we over the cube, it changed its color. And if I click on it, it changed to green. Perfect.
Now, this interactable Unity event does not only work for Ray interactable, but for any interactable that we have. So if I were to copy it and paste it on one of our grabbable cube, for example, we can drag the end grab interactable of this cube instead of the array interactable. And now if I try the game, as you can see, it changed color also. So basically this is how you can use array to interact with any object that are far away with both our controller and our, your ends. Now I didn't find any built-in behavior to grab object with this ray, but maybe that's something we will see in a future update of the Oculus interaction. One of the most important feature of this ray is to also be able to interact with the other interface. But uh, there are some other things that I want to show you before you will have to wait a little bit. Now, I hope that you enjoy watching this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to not miss the next episode. The source code is available on my Patreon if you want to support my work here. And thank you for watching and see you soon for a future episode. Bye bye.